our universe is unique. unique. It isn't alone. Is Lawrence Krauss explains the theory of the multiverse on The Joe Rogan Show. Have you ever wondered if there might be another universe with aliens or humans like us? Well, the truth is, we all fantasize about this. But you know what? Lawrence Krauss has amazingly explained the theory of multiverse. So let's sit on the roller coaster and unravel the details of this theory. Chapter 1. What does it actually mean to have a multiverse? Cosmology and physics propose that our universe is not unique in its kind, and there are multiple other possibilities of existence for infinite universes in space. The term multiverse is proposed by scientists and cosmologists to give the idea of the existence of other universes in space. Although there is no experimental evidence of this theoretical framework, yet the way our space is behaving and all the things going on in it propose the existence of other universes with different people and atmospheres. But why do we believe that there is a multiverse? Are there any convincing theoretical arguments for the existence of multiverses that we had not yet reached? That's what Lawrence Krauss had explained in detail, so let's see what he proposes about the existence of a multiverse. Chapter 2. Does Multiverse Exist According to Lawrence Krauss? Some physicists and cosmologists may be ignorant or neglect this fact if they say our universe is not expanding anymore. The expanding universe brings out lots of work and needs to do more research and come out with results and theories. This might burden most cosmologists, which is why they deny this reality and surpass it to negligence. And as far as we can tell, the most likely possibility is that our universe will expand forever. But to make you a little bit happier, it's quite possible. <laughs> the best pictures that we have of our, the early universe is that we actually, our universe isn't unique. It and will continue to expand forever. From the very beginning, our conception of our universe and our mental picture suggest that we are not alone. In fact, there are possibilities of the existence of other universes, which we call a multiverse. You'll be surprised to hear that in... At any instant in time, in kind of a cosmic super time, there's always a universe being born. And adding up to the phenomena of the multiverse. You cannot even count the number of universes that might exist in space. The same picture of the beginning of our universe is applicable throughout space. Nothing is stoppable for it. It is not even possible to know how many universes are being born and how many universes have existed before our universe for a trillion years because there is no scale invented yet. Infinite possibilities exist for the existence of the multiverse and it is quite possible that they will exist forever. Chapter 3 Can We See These Other Universes? Now, grabbing upon the theory of the multiverse, the first question that comes up in your mind could be, Where are they? Outside of our universe. Just like Joe Rogan asked Lawrence Krauss. Where are they? So the answer is, these expected multi-universes are outside of our universe, but the reason we are unable to see them might have lots of beliefs. Possibly these universes exist outside of the region we have yet to explore. There are so many possibilities in our universe that it is impossible to even think of them all. We are tiny humans who have not yet reached every corner of space. There are still boundaries, or you may say edges of limitations of our visibility in space. While the colossal theory most cosmologists and physicists deny is the continuous expansion of space faster than the speed of light. Yes, your ears have heard my words right. Because, you know, we taught you in school nothing can travel faster than light. You may remember that from school. Right. We lied. In reality, this statement is the biggest lie in the world. Do you know why? Space is expanding even faster than the speed of light. 
The main idea is that nothing can travel faster in space than the speed of light, but we have never talked about the speed of space expansion and how fast it is. Imagine a multiverse at the other end of the galaxy, currently at rest and not moving at all. But on the other hand, the space between us is constantly expanding. So you get the idea of it? Even if the light from those galaxies and universes travels at an exponential speed, it's still unable to reach us because the distance between them and our universe is increasing at an even higher speed. This is what you can call a horizon. It is our limitation beyond which we can never reach, and we can never see them because our space is constantly expanding way faster than the speed of light. And the most exciting thing is that these regions where we have no excess might have remarkable histories and stories of the beginning of their existence, which we cannot even fantasize about. Chapter 4 Lawrence Krauss's Definition of the Universe Everything that is confined to our horizon has a well-known explanation by us about its beginning, which is the Big Bang expansion. If we follow the laws of physics back to the Big Bang, we will find that our universe was much smaller than it is now. But another region, if you wish, could have come from a different Big Bang. As kids, we once had a definition of the universe in our minds. Considering the universe to be everything, I find this definition to be entirely wrong. The definition of the universe actually means that it's a region within our horizon. It's part of the space with which we had easily communicated in the past and would be able to communicate and analyze in the future. You may also call it the visible part of the space. If you believe you are aware of everything out there in space which you have always called the universe, universe, then you are the stupidest person. In reality, we have all been this stupid in the past, yet the facts and reality are precisely opposite. Considering this definition, different universes may have a restricted size, and other regions which are invisible to us and do not even affect us today and will never have an effect on our universe in the future, even after a billion years from now, are a part of the multiverse for us. The thing worth noticing here is versions of a multiverse, but you may call it one of the most straightforward explanations of the existence of multiverse. Chapter 5 Universe in a Beer Bottle When we are talking about the existence of the multiverse, the surprising thing is understanding even our own universe is not possible 100%. If we really want to know the real features and face of our universe, we will need to go back to the Big Bang. The qualities that we see of our universe can best be explained if some early time in the history of the universe, when it was a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second old. Do you know why I am saying this? Because till that time, our universe has changed so much that you cannot define its exact appearance and properties that it once had when it was just a little baby. Even in the billionth part of the second after its birth, our universe when it was a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second old. The tiny universe in the beginning with the expansion of space and it never gets to us. That galaxy disappears from our causal horizon, we call it. That you forgot in your freezer, and later on, upon freezing, the liquid inside it will expand and ultimately explode. We never know if there might be the same inflation is happening in other invisible regions out there, which will ultimately lead to other Big Bangs and the formation of more universes out there. Chapter 6 Multiple Big Bangs are a possibility. Believing the theory of inflation, we can say space is continuously expanding, bringing and adding up more horizons where endless possibilities are available. So we can believe that our space's expansion is eternal. This eternal space is constantly going through the addition of new regions. Even the phenomena of inflation is possible in these regions, and just like the beer bottle, there will be a time when a sudden explosion will happen. 
Another idea is maybe several regions are having these expansions at the same time, causing multiple big bangs and forming an exponential amount of universes still out of our sight. The properties and features of these multiverses which might contain stars, galaxies, or other planets could be highly different from what our universe or horizon contains in it. We can even say that people in those regions may be different from us, which we name aliens. You cannot deny the fact that if something is outside our sight, this does not mean it does not exist, because we already have several creatures and things that our eyes cannot see, but still we do believe in their existence. In the same manner, following the theories of expansion and quantum mechanics, we can very clearly believe the fact that multiverses exist. Hey folks, we will end our video here, believing that you have understood the theory of multiverse by Lawrence Krauss. Now the next time you think about whether there are any other universes out there, you will have a logical explanation to answer your mind. Let us know in the comments below if you enjoyed watching this video and do do remember to hit the like button. We promise to bring you more amazing videos in the future so you can broaden your understanding of our universe and beyond.